colleges don't always look for the best player on a team. Um, what they'll look for is the team player on a team that is very good, but is also equally as committed to the team's success as they are their own. And I think not only girls, but every athlete needs to remember that, that it's not about the I on a team. It's about how, what are you doing to make sure your team wins? You know, um, yes, it's great if you have personal accolades and you've been recognized and accomplished, but at the end of the day, if I can tell as a coach when I watch a game and I watch a player, I can tell within five minutes if that player is a team player or a self player. Um, and no coach wants to take on a player that is a player that's there for themselves because they don't work for the betterment of the team. They're not going to be a collective, you know, um, unifier on the field. Um, and they're going to be more headaches than they are positivity. So what I know colleges and coaches, collegiate coaches, having been one, look for is that team player on a team, the one that's selfless and the one that's working for the goals of the, the whole team and not just themselves. No coach wants an academic problem, right? So a coach is always going to look for that scholar in the athlete and making sure that any student they recruit is going to be able to manage the workload, the academic workload required of being a student on that college campus. Even on a high school campus, you have to be able to do the academic work to play on the team. And any coach will tell you that. And so um, what I think young people need to remember is they need to invest as much into their sport career as they do as their educational career. Um, because nowadays, it's imperative that you have both as, as, as strong as you can make them. The third thing that I've seen successful with collegiate athletes nowadays is are players that have a well-rounded balance outside of just sport, other extracurricular activities, right? So it is one thing to just focus your entire life on playing soccer. You eat, breathe, live soccer. That's great. But what else do you do? Have you tried the arts? Have you tried a, a, um, an instrument? Have you tried um, other health and wellness activities? And really branching out to expose yourself to other opportunities is a sign of someone that's truly flexible. Um, and can assimilate to other cultures and, and situations and circumstance and um, will be able to handle change well. And so I think what also colleges look for is a well-balanced student when it comes to extracurriculars, not just sport.